In this video, we'll be creating a Razor component and then we'll pass it a property. If you want to see more tutorials that don't waste your time, click the subscribe button below. So at this point, we want to create a component. The reason we're creating a component is because it'll make it easier to modify code in the future. So we're going to take all of this code today that's currently sitting here and we're going to move it into a new component. Um, we'll just start here by creating one called Hero Detail. And then after that, I'm just going to come back here, grab this, cut that, and paste it back over here. So in Razor, it's just that simple. But then the problem is, is now over here, we have our currently selected hero, uh, our selected hero. And somehow this other component, the hero detail, is going to need to know about that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a property and, or sorry, it's going to be a property, but it's going to be a parameter in Razor components. So if I go down here, I believe that looks right. Yep everything looks good there so I changed the casing here when I switch this so let's just let's just update this just to show it doesn't matter so everything everything's good here now but then we're gonna have to call this here from this line so we're gonna add the hero detail here and Normally you would do something like this to call that custom component But we have we have a parameter that we need to pass in and that parameter was called selected hero And we're gonna set that equal to our uh, selected hero here Let me just tab that in so it's easier to see So we are at selected hero which would give us access to that. So let's let's just save that. Thank you, Auto Formatting, for moving that back for me. I'm gonna hit Control C here. Do .NET Build .NET Run, and then I'm gonna come back over here and just refresh this page really quick. And our Hero component still works. Perfect. So now what we've done is we've simplified our hero component. We can now modify the hero details, create a whole new details screen that we can use from other components. We can reuse this, but we can change it without modifying the heroes component. And the heroes component can be changed without modifying this details section. In the next video, what we're going to look at is how to create a service and use dependency injection. See you there.